Hi there. Is Duolingo Max worth it for kids? At the end of this video, you will know if it's worth the extra cash and in what capacity you should use Duolingo as a part of your overall language strategy for your child. Hola, mi nombre es Selena. That means, hi, my name is Selena. That's right, folks. My eight-year-old daughter Selena has been crushing her Spanish lessons for a couple of months now. But here's the kicker. Duolingo Max costs more than double compared to Super Duolingo. So what's the deal with these fancy new features? We got four new features to look at. Number one, explain my answer. Number two, practice hub. Number three, role play. And finally, number four, AI telephone calls. Let's break them down and see if they're actually useful for kids. Before I say goodbye today, you will know exactly which features is worth your money and which ones are a total waste. But there's one more thing before we get cracking. At the end of this video, I will reveal how I consider Duolingo to be a part of a larger teaching plan for kids. This app can be a great resource or it can be a disaster depending on how you use it. And if you wonder who I am, I spent more than a decade teaching two languages to children and I also have been lucky enough to follow Selena's trilingual journey. Daddy, can we start with the fun part? Let's have some fun! First up is explain my answer. Sounds great, right? Well, not so fast. Adi adds emphasis to you. It's like saying, do you? Like tennis. A ti te gusta el tennis. A ti te encanta leer. But daddy, this is so boring. For kids, this is about as exciting as watching paint dry. Kids are all about hands-on learning, not getting bugged down in grammar. One feature down, three to go. Will the next one be any better for your kiddo? Let's find out. Let's look at Practice Hub. I'm not saying that this isn't useful at all, but in my personal opinion, it's just more of what you already have. Duolingo's already structured for tons of repetition. The progress in this app is not very fast. So you have plenty of time to practice the language without this function. Now here's where things get interesting. Role play. So far we're zero for two, but don't worry. Things are about to get interesting. Hablas español. In Duolingo Max, you're playing with AI, more specifically ChatGPT4. But here's the million dollar question. Can AI really teach your kid to speak naturally? Let's find out. Bien. ¿Sabes dónde está la salida? The role play function can be helpful, but you're just clicking pre made phrases. It's like following a recipe where you can only use pre measured ingredients. Gracias. ¿Y sabes dónde está la parada de autobús? The AI will answer based upon what you say. You have to click words or phrases to build your sentence. In reality, you have very little choice. You can't add your own flavor or creativity, which kind of defeats the purpose of learning to cook. I like when I do role play with my daddy. He says you can play something else, but not this game now. So, no is my opinion. Not even role play is worth it. But let's see what Selena thinks. I asked her straight out. 
I think the role play is pretty fun. And it's sometimes difficult to act. Sometimes I learn something of that. Words that they talk to. But get this, I don't speak a word Spanish, but I aced one of these role plays. That's how limited it is. So the question is, Selena, can you afford $30 a month just so you can play with ChatGPT for? <gasps> that is a lot of allowance money. You're right, Selena, but now, drum roll. The best part of Duolingo Max, AI telephone calls. This is where things get real. You actually get to speak and the AI responds. It's like having a tutor on demand. Never stop, forget it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. Hola. Hola. Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up. Tengo una pregunta. Te gusta nadar? Sí. I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff. I flip a switch. Sí. Ah. Man, I always stay up. Don't let him see you, bitch. Always have a plan to stay tough. It's like a mí no me gusta nadar. But here's the bummer. It's only available for more advanced learners. Sorry, beginners. It will appear around section five, which might be considered a lower intermediate level. All right, okay. We've seen all four features. Time for the moment of truth. Is Duolingo Max worth it for kids? What's the verdict? In a single word, no. Unless you're swimming in cash, the extra features probably don't justify doubling down on your subscription costs. For kids, the basic Duolingo experience is more than enough to get them started. Having said that, Duolingo might just be on the path to making something really great. I like that little green owl. We have to see how they improve on these features in the future. It's normal for technology to take some time to mature. But here's the thing. Duolingo shouldn't be your only tool for teaching kids a language. It's just one piece of a puzzle. So how should we learn, Daddy? Great question. Here's my short review of my top tips for parents. Number one, make it fun. Use game songs and videos or whatever you need to make it interesting. Number two, real world practice. Get your kids talking with native speakers or language buddies. Why? Because conversation is the secret sauce. It forces them to listen, think, and speak all at once. It's like a full body workout for their language skills. Be consistent is number three. Repetition helps your kid remember the things they already learned. And we need to repeat every day in order for that to work. Duolingo can be good for the repetition part. Remember, Duolingo is great for getting kids excited about languages, but it's not a magic bullet it can take your child from an absolute beginner to intermediate level, but you cannot expect fluency from this app. Language learning is all about creating a language rich environment, something that an algorithm yet fail to do. Gracias por ver este video. That means thanks for watching our video. I would appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel that way you will receive more tips on raising multilingual kids or help them acquire a new foreign language. Until next time, adios, amigos. Miguel y Pedro, ¿ustedes son jugadores de béisbol? Miguel y Pedro, ¿ustedes son jugadores de béisbol? ¿Sonia es jugadora de béisbol? ¿Sonia es jugadora de béisbol?